What's going on everybody? This is Brother Legs here and we have Street Fighter 6 uh, with us here. It just came out and I am going to be showcasing Manon. Uh, Manon's a character that I wanted to play since she got released. Same thing for me when Street Fighter 5 came out. I wanted to play Karen and uh, you know I know the poll won. I know Chun-Li won but today we're going to be talking about Manon we're gonna do an in-depth first impression tutorial. Uh, if you guys have questions, make sure you like and comment on below the video. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, obviously. And uh, let's get into it. I actually do have all the buns. I think, I, I, I kinda have all the buns, all right? Kind of. We will go into it, but I am using a Victrix Pro. I am not sponsored by Victrix. Vitrix, please sponsor me. Uh, I will make you guys a lot of money. And uh, now nah, this is a, a Vitrix Pro BFG a PS5 controller. It's a fight pad. It lets me use the front three, uh, well, front six buttons plus the trigger plus the bumper, so we can pretty much do everything. Okay. Uh, but let's go into Manon. Manon is a footsie grappler character, right? She definitely has the grappling moves and on the right beat next to your drive meter drive well yeah drive meter uh is metals right i already have three uh, i believe let me not that way all right so i have one meters or metals carry over every time i do a command grab the meter goes up and the damage goes higher that was two thousand that one was 2300. This one is 2700. This one is 3000. And so five is the maximum. All right. Now, is it easy to get command grabs? Eh, not really. But we'll talk about how to get them, any kind of combos that we can do, any kind of scenarios where we can actually go through and get some of these grabs. Now, she does have. Two ways to command grab. Um, she definitely has the command grab that I showed, the down to back. So this is down to back punch, right? Uh, ranges, she doesn't really move too much uh, in the range. Um, they all start up. Let me see this. Whoops. This is 10 frames. This is eight frames. And this is five frames. So the heavy one is the shortest distance, but has the fastest active frame with heavy uh so if you need that quick command grab you see how quick she zipped in grabbed somebody and then we got ex which is eight frames but moves a little bit further away right so that's some good distance that ex actually goes really really far uh very surprised we'll catch people at some time so good to know she definitely has another command grab which is down the forward punch so this is a on hit. They can block this. All right. If I, whoops, make my opponent block all, right? They can block it and it's very punishable. Very, very punishable. Don't do this, right? This is not gonna combo. I haven't found many uses for it to combo, but it, We'll, we'll talk about how to access it and what it's used for. There is a very cool tool with it. But uh, rounding off her other special attacks, she has down to back kick. So that was medium. This is well, this is light. It's a very fast low, very far reaching low. It's actually pretty nice. But again, very, very punishable. She has the ballerina kick, the springing kick, very far too. That could be from right here and it goes far. Again, very, very punishable. And then she definitely has, which I don't have the, hold on, let me see if I can, no. Okay, hold on. And that's her heavy. That one, okay. It's a very normal, uh, it's, don't believe, so the EX one is, we can always test it. The EX one is on overhead. Let's go put 
them crouching, right? So, oops. so that was an overhead as well, okay? And we'll go into the hit block uh, scenario. That was negative nine. This one is negative three, okay? Negative three is really, really good, actually. Means not punishable. Uh, fastest frame in this game, I believe, is four frames. Don't quote me on that, but I believe it's four frames. So if you see something that's negative three, you're fine. You're not gonna get punished. This is not Street Fighter four or five. This is six different frame data, different uh, possibility. Okay. So, uh, and then she de she has her anti-air move, which is this Crescent Moon Kick. And uh, yeah, they all have different properties in the sense of how negative it is, medium or light was, Negative 15, medium is negative 14, heavy is only negative 11, which is still very punishable, and then you got EX, which is negative 19. Okay, why EX? Comes out pretty fast, right? The other moves, light comes out good, probably the ranges of the hitbox is a little bit better, but you'll see a juggle point to this. I will show off the, ju the juggles in a bit. Um, that's her normal throw. Um, she doesn't really have anything else. That was, that's pretty much all her moves. Now, the cool thing is, we talked about her command grab down the forward punch. You can cancel that by pressing kick, or if you want to cancel it, you can do a punch. Okay. Doesn't seem, well, okay, so you have to do the button that's corresponding to what you did. If I do down to four light, I have to do jab as well to cancel it. Okay. If I do heavy, same thing. Now, all the kicks will cancel into the kick when you cancel out of this move. Right? So then you can also do and that as well. That's negative 12. But that one has a lot of range. Okay. Very, very strong. Very quick. Now, what you want to do when using this move so i told you there is a tool for this and the great thing about this uh training dummy is we don't have to do the whole recording anymore we can do some wake up and we can do special wake ups so we can make chun do kokin fireball whenever she gets oops i didn't click it so we can do when she wakes up and we could do, whoops, we could do light, so that's fine. So if I throw her, she'll throw a fireball, right? All right, let's throw her this way. This move actually goes through fireball. So if I do this, read the fireball, that's a command grab, goes around, right? EX as well, goes on command grab. Medium, goes through command grab. Hey, guess what, my medals, it's starting to climb and that one was heavy right so if you have the reaction for it and you know you're supposed to throw fireball get that in there command grab go around it it's invisible to fireball very very good tool okay um and as i said earlier oh, i don't know if i said it maybe i did maybe i didn't i don't remember but metals carry over through rounds so once i get it going it stays there. There's no diminishing on it. So for two out of three, if I get a command grab early, that level two is gonna stay there from now on. Okay, it's gonna stay on. All right. So we talked about the specials. Let's talk about the normals. Kind of went backwards on this. I, I understand, but uh, let's talk about the normals. And we're gonna do on hit first. Okay, we're gonna do on hit. So, let's talk about the on hit. We got light kick, medium kick, heavy kick. So light kick was actually plus two frames. That means you go next again, everything else was negative. That means even on hit, unless it cancels, you gotta pump the brakes a little bit, right? You got stand jab, medium punch, and heavy punch, zero frames, right? Then you got crouching, all this stuff. One thing I want to show you guys real quick is that with heavy punch, if you tap it, you tap it twice, 
you get a dragon motion, right? You get to push them into you. And because of that, I'm three frames ahead. That means that I go next. So, you can probably do that. Probably do a light kick. Put him in distance and go for a command grab. But remember, command grab, especially light, is 10 frames. This is eight, 7 frames. This is 5 frames. So just because I put them close to me with this, doesn't mean I can just command grab them. They have a chance to get away. Okay, They maybe can't press a button or attack, but they can definitely uh, you know, jump away back down. So this is not a guarantee or anything like that. All right. There's also back heavy punch. Back heavy punch is really good as an anti-air. It is an anti-air, maybe not very good, but it is an anti-air. And you can cancel into it for a combo if you want. See, so it's a really good tool to get in, especially if you get a combo, you can, you know, you can do. No, well, that ain't combo, but maybe, let's see. That combo. Although that was a punish counter, so maybe that's a little different. Let me see. That does combo. So hey, if you're able to land a jump in, that's a combo you're gonna want to do if you want to build your medals. Pretty good. Okay. Uh, let's first take off this because I'm getting a little tired. Of that. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. Let's talk about crouching. So you got your crouching light kick. Does this remember? Does this remind anybody of anything? <laughs> this looks like Elena. So Elena has Elena's kind of came back as Manon with these uh, lights. All right, and you can chain them together. All right, so that's pretty good. Just like jabs, you can chain them together. That jab has a little bit of reach, but not that much. Crouchy jab has better reach. Okay. Uh, you got crouchy middle kick. So this is probably the most disappointing normal from Manon, I think. Crouching Middle Kick, it has okay range. Cannot cancel out of it, but it has okay range. But you know, there's other characters like Chun, like Kami, Ryu. They have just way better Crouching Middle Kicks than Manon does, right? So this button is okay. Uh, I don't even think you could drive rush out of it. So uh, it, it's okay, but it's nothing crazy, nothing great. Uh, just a solid move, eight frames, you know, it's very disappointing, uh, normal. And then you have your, uh, sweep. Sweep goes pretty fast, does a little spin. It doesn't hit on the other side, so it is just one simple sweep like that. But it has some good range. It has some good range. Moves a little bit real quick. I still think maybe, uh, down the back light kick probably does a little bit better of a sweeping motion than sweep does. But, you know, it, it's there, right? It has priority, it's pretty good. Um, now there's other uh, unique moves. There's also, like we talked about middle kick, there is back middle kick. And if you do back middle kick on t hit twice or on block, this is a combo, okay? So really good uh, high low, you know, or just, you know, medium into a high attack. It, it does beat crouching. So you have to block it high. People have to block this high. Uh, you also have another dragon combo with middle punch, middle kick. So you bring people in with this big middle punch. This middle punch kind of moves forward. I don't know. It's it's selective. I've been playing a little bit of uh, versus with my brother here and there, and it does definitely has some range, but it's really hard to commit to it, especially because it's negative afterwards. And doesn't it just feels a little weird? It feels like Luke's light punch, but without all the utility of Luke's light punch. So it's okay, but you know you could definitely find something. I mean, it does cancel, so that I mean it's okay, right? But anyways, then you have your heavy, whoops, your heavy kick, very strong, very far move. Um, because I'm using the three kicks as the kick, it'll give me the back middle kick. Now this is a good anti-air as well. It's very solid. You do have to have some timing to it. It's not something that you like, oh, I see him jump. Oh, I get to anti-air. You really have to have the timing there. 
but it is good if your timing is good you'll get it it's really solid like that uh let's talk about jump ins you got your jump light very very quick button right here nothing too crazy jump middle punch jump middle punch actually is a, like a you know straight attack almost like upward in a way so it's good for air to airs uh it does but it, it's really hard to use as like a quick button because the angle is so weird so nothing really crazy i don't know maybe with high flyers maybe like if somebody teleport you like dolls them or something you could probably do jump middle punch but it's not really that great um and then you got your jump heavy punch jump heavy punch you know kind of solid kind of like a standard jump heavy attack um it's okay right it's okay none of those cross up let's talk about the lights so you got jump light kick so jump light kick actually does cross up a little bit of a knee attack all right so you can do that kind of combo if you time it right there we go you have to do these really low so remember make sure that when you're doing these combos that you're doing it really really low all right um so that you can get the most out of it right like like for example and i love the frame meter in this game it tells you right there so plus five if i did it any lower i'm plus eight now that changes things that makes things combo better for me right so and if i do it super high that's three frames guess what i'm not getting a combo off of that so you really get to see frame meter so much better in this game uh than past uh, titles all right so jump middle kick is another one that's pretty good as a cross-up i mean you know like i'm jumping pretty far and it's catching chun and plus 10 plus 8 plus 11 those are all combos so i can just do something right there right yeah i don't think i can oh i can get heavy punch so guess what that's a combo you, you land that cross-up Back heavy kick or heavy punch into light command grab. That's a combo. That's a medal. And I want medals, right? The goal of Manon is to get those medals going, right? So, uh, where do you turn that on? Good question. You would go to your uh, frame meter, right? Here, under screen display settings. Should I should let people know that. But yes, frame meter right here. You turn it on and you get the frame data meter. All right, let's talk about jump heavy kick. Jump heavy kick is kind of weird. I mean, it's good. It's one of those that's like, has a lot of a range, has a lot of like a good hitbox. I don't know the priority of it per se, but you know, it's, it's pretty dang good. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good. Not a good cross up, obviously. So you gotta really know about Manon and her range, but make sure that if you're jumping at a distance, you get to, yeah, you know, get to, uh, you know, make sure your timing is right. Make sure you have enough distance. Just know it doesn't have a lot of side to side hitbox. It's very on point when it comes to the jump in portion of it. Right, so if you're jumping and you know you're gonna cross up, get that middle kick right. Right, pretty, pretty standard stuff. Okay. Uh, let's see. So let's talk about combos. I just showed you one right now. Crouching middle punch, standing jab is one combo. Uh, you can again chain your your. So you can't do it for light kick. Light kick is two frames only. So you can't combo at, into or out of light kick, but you can do it on the crouching, right? I don't think I can combo off of that. It looks like it wants to, but no. You can do so, so you can you know mix and match, crouching light, dead jab, crouching light kick again. Um, you know, just something to keep your opponent away, push them out of there, and uh, you can definitely combo out of. Uh, let's see here. Uh, 
I know you can come off of that. Maybe I could do that. Alright, let's try that. So. So maybe what we should do is keep it two. So you only get two, so. Alright. There we go. So you get a combo off of that. So you can do your down for light kick. I should say the name of these things, right? So, um. That's the that's the command grab is her manage dore, her ron point. That's what it is. So her ron point is her crescent moon kick. You got degagi, which is her ballerina kicks. You got renverse, which is her other command grab, and then you can do the cancel from doing renverse, reverse, whatever. So, anyways, so you could do. Can't cancel all of that, unfortunately, but you can do that one. Gets you a knockdown, gets you some pressure. And again, these moves also, you can use them as end tires as well. Alright. So, let's, we're learning some other combos. Obviously, this is a standard combo you can do. Doesn't get you much, but it at least puts you closer. You can do it on block, and we'll talk about on block in a bit. But it's very negative, as you'll see. Uh, heavy Heavy is really good. You got Crouching Heavy, which is negative. You got Standing Heavy Punch, which is zero. So, and these don't cancel. Uh, you got Stab Middle Kick, which actually does con uh, cancel. So you can go into that. You can go into that. I think the hardest thing is learning. You know, the, the weird thing for me, you know, the way I look at this move, I treat it as Nash, right? This looks like Nash's Antire. But Nash's Antire is down the back. Not down to forward. So when I'm playing, I get really confused on which one am I supposed to do. All right, when I see someone jump at me, I instantly want to do down to back, but it's actually down to forward. So keep that in mind whenever you're playing, making sure that you know anti is forward, not back. Okay. Um, I guess like the best way I could treat it is like think of DP. All right. Um, let's see. Can I cancel? I can cancel off a stand jab as well, so I can do. And you can go into medium. You can go into. Oops. You can go into EX. Okay. So that's good. Um, really, really good tool. Again, jab combos, jab punishes are really are really gonna be strong, especially early on, because you want to learn how to punish things, and you're gonna panic, and like instantly when people people panic. They want to go into jab. Well, you got his jab combo right there, right? And you can combo that into the medium. Okay. Uh, I think you can combo into light as well. Look at that. So, whoops. Whoops. Ah, doing the wrong one. There we go. All right, moves them a little bit closer to the to the corner. Um, let's. Later on, you'll start looking at damage, right? So you're like, okay, let's see. What is this combo doing damage was? So I do this. And that did 18, 20. Okay, well, let me try doing the medium one, right? So, say, same thing. This one does 1980. Which one does more damage? The medium one. But then you start thinking, okay, well, what leads me closer? Does the medium one lead me closer? Does the light one lead me closer? That'll be explained in the, in the advanced video. We'll do an advanced video um, down the line, all right? Okay, let's talk about on block and then we'll talk about supers. So let's go back here. We'll turn on block all. So as I said, before I start this, anything that's higher than neg negative four or higher is punished, right? So if you guys are looking at this, you guys are watching this for the first time and want to learn fighting and want to learn Street Fighter six, make sure you put it down somewhere. Anything that's negative four, red, red four, is a punish, or can be punished. Not every character can punish it. That's where character specific stuff starts coming out. But for the most part, as Chun, I'll punish it. Okay. So let's take a look at this. Then jab, negative one. How bad? Crouching jab, negative two. Cool. Uh, standing middle punch, minus one. Not bad again. Crouching middle punch, plus or minus one. How about again? 
Then you got your heavy punch, which is three frames. What if I do both heavies? That's negative eight. That's a big punish, right? This, is it punishable? No. This, is it punishable? Yes. All right. <clears throat> and then crouching heavy punch. You got negative eight. So again, punishable. This is punishable and you can't cancel it. I'll say this is like another anti-air in a sense. I haven't really used it, but I'll, I'll have to test that out. Okay. Then you got a uh, back heavy punch and that's negative three. So good. Now let's talk about uh, the kicks. Stand like kick. Cr oh no, crouching. Let's not, I'm a crouching. I'm sorry. We got crouching like kick, negative five. So this is actually punishable. However, because they can chain it, you can't punish it. I push you away. I'm negative, so once that ends, now they gotta be a negative, they gotta have a five frame that far. You're not gonna find one. All right, not very many. I don't even think Chun Zx legs, I think that's six frames now. So you're not gonna find a punish, right? You got stand middle kick, negative five. That one actually can be punished. So if you block this, if this move is blocked, get ready to punish it, right? You got stand like kick, two. Crouching middle kick is actually negative two. So not that bad. Now let's do heavy kick. Heavy kick, negative six. Right here is probably punishable, sure. Negative six, right? But if I do it from here, I'm not gonna get punished. Maybe EX leg, like maybe, I don't think so. But this one, you know, you can take a risk on this one. Okay, so yes, yes, it is negative six. It is technically punishable, but because the distance is so far, no one's got that range at that speed. Okay, maybe a super, right? So that's where, again, character specific stuff happens. And then you got crouching sweep, which is negative 12, obviously very punishable. Most sweeps in this game are very punishable. Make sure you're punishing it. Make sure you know how to punish it. Okay. And then you got your back heavy kick, which is negative three. And then you have this uh, target combo, which is negative five. Again, very, very punishable. Well, not very punishable, but is punishable. And be ready to punish it. Okay. Uh, let's do specials now. Down to back light kick, negative four. Down to back middle kick, negative 13. Both are very punishable. And down to back heavy, obviously we did this earlier, negative nine. Down to four heavy punch, or light punch, negative 23. Middle, 20. Heavy, 16. So they're all very punishable. Uh, let's do down to four kicks. So that's negative 19. This is negative 14. This is negative 15. And heavy is negative 11. Again, very punishable moves. So, as you can see, Manon doesn't have anything that's like crazy, you know, strong, very, you know, even with uh, with this move, they're punishable. So she she's a very careful character. You can't go guns blazing. You can't play in the mid, in the close range. You got to play around here. She's a very mid range character. Can handle the fireballs from mid range. Can poke at mid range, and is waiting for an anti or waiting for the right time. Okay. Uh, got crouching like it is a good poke. Crouching middle punch is a good poke. Uh, they're not the best, but they're they're something, right? Uh, you're just gonna be looking for mistakes, right? You can do this. Eight to fourteen though, so you're gonna get punished. So it, it's gonna take you a little, or take characters a little bit to get in. Obviously, you have things nowadays with drive impact. You have drive rush, which can help you get in. Uh, parry, parry is a very strong tool for Manon. And we're going to be talking about perfect parries and stuff like that. But let me just tell you this, and you guys can write this down. As a Manon player, most of the time when you get perfect parry, that is a command grab. Alright, that is a command grab. Doesn't matter about the scaling, don't even think about the scaling. Just do the command grab. You get your medals. Again, you want your medals as Manon. You want to get it as soon as possible, even if you're losing the first round. That medals, I get five now, guess what? I get a punish, command grab, look at the damage. 37, look at all that damage that I did. Just off of one command grab. 
just off a of punish that you could probably get a combo in right you could probably get a big combo right or into that you get a combo you get probably 4k and maybe like 37 30 you know, 3700 okay uh let's talk about manan super so Manana, like in every game, well, every character, I'm sorry, in this game, Manan has three supers. Let's do the first one. Down to four, down to four. Kick. I think that was the first one. Let me see. Yes. So the unfortunate thing about this one, now I could be wrong. I haven't tested this all the way. So don't take this as, as, uh, like for, you know, don't, don't take it like fully realistic. Cause I haven't tested it all the way. But this is not invincible to fireball. So you can't just see a fireball. Oh, let me, oh, and then go to super. But it does have some good range. It definitely has some good range. Um, you know, if you see someone with a button or, you know, move, you know, mess up with an attack, you can definitely cancel or go into it and get a combo in there. Or just get some damage in there. It's really good. Especially if you see drive rush or drive impact, you can, I believe, beats it out. Uh, and again, if you want to test that out, you can definitely test that out. We can go to uh, Wake Up, right? And we can change this to uh, Common Actions, right? We got Drive Impact. So cool, let's do that. Let's turn this on. Let's knock her down and then let her do Drive Impact. And you see that? That works, right? How about another another attack, right? What did we talk about, right? I can command grab that, All right? So this is a really good tool to help you when someone wakes up drive impact. You can record it, you can get it done on wake up. It'll happen in the first frame. It works out so that you're ready, you're prepared for it. Um, all right, let's, let's turn this off. Okay, so the tools in this are really, really strong when it comes to making uh use of these training tools to help you practice obviously i do a lot of training on over at medify.gg i signed up i already have a bunch of students signed up this weekend next week make sure that you have it what's up uh make sure that you guys are signing up if you're super interested in being a good player i'm gonna be doing a lot of this we'll be doing a lot of videos a lot of training uh tutorials uh for newcomers and stuff like that so don't feel like you're gonna get left out don't get left out start booking training sessions now now um let's talk about the kick i mean level two super so you got down to four was the first one now down the back is your second one and this is an entire one this is a really good as an entire you see somebody you can actually go into it and it does some good damage now something that i mentioned in previous videos on my youtube channel is that you can cancel ex into these level twos so you can do uh oops. Uh, maybe maybe it's on hit uh could be on hit let me see Okay, no, you can cancel it. Even on block, you can cancel it. It's really fast. The timing is really fast. You don't need to do uh, all three kicks. You can just do one kick, but it's uh, you can pretty much uh, just get used to doing it. And uh, you know, just mash it. It's better on hit because you get a slow down. On block, you don't get a lot of the slow down, so it's hard to cancel it. But on hit, you can do it. Now, I did do that move. I did forget about this move. I, I don't know how I forgot about this move. Down forward, this is uh, her like little slide sweep. Very punishable, but it is pretty fast. It is a, a really good tool to get in there, uh, especially when they're not expecting it. It is a low. Uh, actually, I don't think this is a low. Um, but there are some mugs that you can whip punish with. It's really good. Look at the range. Range is pretty good, All right? So make sure you're utilizing that. Punch again on hit, knocks down. On block, it is negative 23. I think if I space it out, it. No, I think it's always 23. 
right? Very punishable. Very, very, very. It's in the 20, so it's very, very punishable. Um, so that was her, her level 2. Again, very good as an anti-air. I usually use it as an anti-air. We'll talk about its uses in a bit. Uh, let's talk about her level 3. Her level 3 is down and forward, down and forward punch. And it is a command grab. So make sure that you're using this as a close range super. Alright. One of the, my favorite uses of this is actually... You can cancel drive rush into it from those kicks. It's really good. If they get hit by that low, or that overhead, I'm sorry. That is a combo. You can combo into that super from doing it. Okay. Um, I don't believe, I'm going to say no, but I don't believe that command grab is affected by the metals. Um, actually, I mean, let's just, let's just test it right now, right? We're, we're already here. This is day one. Let's test this. So, raw level three super does 4,000 damage. Okay, let's do the same thing. Let me reset it. As you say. Now, there is a thing called CA. That means if you're at 30%, this animation will change a little bit. And so, no, the metals don't affect the super damage. Okay, so you can already write that off. Doesn't affect the super damage. Now, if I wanted to, uh, where is it? If we want. We're at 30%. Okay, maybe it's at 10%. Okay, now we have critical R. I believe, hold on. That's 20. Okay, so maybe it's 25. I'm gonna guess it's 25. I don't know. You have critical art. What does that mean? That means your level three gets an added cinematic move. Right, it's the same motion, nothing changes, but now you get a different effect. And you start singing. So the first one did 4,000, how much does this do? That one is 4,500, right? So 500 more damage just for being in that 20% of health. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna guess 25, not 100% sure, but yeah. So, uh, it's a really good tool, really something that you can use. Again, you can combo into it, uh, but make sure that they're standing. If they're in the air, if they're juggled, it's not going to work. If they're popped up, it, they have to be standing. That's why, let me just take off the block for now. Um, I'll do it even after, you know, block after first hit. So, actually, this probably won't work. Oh no, this is a combo, that's right, so... Oh, oh I did the wrong one. See that two hits? Three hits? That's a combo. So you can definitely combo it with Drive Rush. I haven't really found a way to combo it, other than maybe jump in. Obviously, I think... Obviously, this should work. Yeah, that works too. So, you know, you land a jump in, you want a big punish, uh, the startup frame on this is seven frames. So seven frames startup for that super. You block something that's negative seven, that command grab is gonna beat it, or it's gonna punish it. All right. To round out the end of this video, let's talk about some actual combos and applications to this. So this doesn't work, but that actually works. So. The, the thing about about comboing with Manon is that she doesn't really get anything to when it comes to command grabs. Obviously, command grabs is going to come from punishes. It's going to come from reads. Again, like fireball. If I get a fireball, I get that command grab, which is really good. But she doesn't really get a combo unless it's an anti -air. We'll talk about that in a bit. But when, she's, when a character's higher, they actually get popped up a little bit more. You have more time to do this attack. Okay, even if I do this, I can't command grab into it. Even if I do the he EX one, it doesn't work. It won't work, right? Even if I do the normal ones, it won't work. Okay, it sends them far. 
But if I put him in the corner, I can actually do two. And then Command Rush. And I get one. Do I use a lot of meter? Yeah. But is it kind of worth it? Yeah, if I want the damage. Yeah. Right? Like, I almost got three. Let's see how much the damage this does. That is almost 3,000. Right? And that was level four. Let's do level five. So this is level five off a of commander off a of hit that's three thousand damage, right? It almost doesn't make sense or doesn't doesn't really feel like it's worth it for all the meter. But there's gonna be times when we're exploring or exploring this game, you have to take advantage of everything you have right now. Don't worry. Don't think of it too much as oh that waste all this dragon burst meter. Oh I'm in burnout. Don't worry about any of that. Be creative. Play the game eventually you'll start thinking about things that are worth it and some, some things that are not worth it so make sure that you guys are just exploring get everything out there so that you're not hiding anything you're not you know miss uh overlooking anything you just want to play all right so like i said um so this doesn't combo into it, anything but you can combo oops you can combo into jab into that front kick. So you can do crouching middle punch into. Uh, I don't think you can do heavy because heavy is a little bit. Yeah, heavy is a little bit more startup, so it's not gonna work. Uh, this was the 11 frame, so it will work. And you can also go into light. Light is 9 frames really fast. Okay, so you can just do. And that's a combo. Really good, really, really strong. Um, if you do EX, so if I do, I can do level one super, and it doesn't have to be in the corner, it could be over here too, so. Alright, and that does, you know, almost 3,000 damage, that's not bad, that's honestly, honestly not bad. So really, really good tell tool. A lot of times what I do is if I launch them, and I don't have EX, whoops. I'll go into this medium one, push it to the corner. Uh, that did 2380. Not bad damage. Pretty strong. Uh, it's just a good good tool. All right. Um, let's see. So this startup is eight frames. Unless I find something that's eight frames or more, and this is how you do math and and frame data and stuff like that. Do I see anything that's eight frames on hit? Let's see. No. No, no, no. This one, yeah, so you can do it with that, right? You can do it with that, so you can combo off of that. So you can get that combo. You can get any combo. When you do when you do this this heavy punch, you can pretty much do any combo you want. That was medium. Right? That was medium. So so what you combo is this is a combo you can do. Oh, I missed it. So that's a combo right there. So oops, I need to do the right one. That's the whole combo right there. Good bread and butter. Waste two meter again. Does it use a lot of meter? Sure, but you know, you can actually just go into it. Um. Ah, uh, that was the wrong one. I want to do level two. Oops. Uh, I did the wrong one. And then you can go to level two. And this does 4,000, 4,100 damage. Really strong off of an EX launch. Right? So I get a launch. I can just do this. So this one kind of misses. Let me just test this out a couple times. Uh, I, I messed up. No, I messed up. That was a little weird because of the range. I'm not doing it right. That was on frame. So that one won't won't connect fully because this is so far. So if you're gonna do this combo from light, make sure you do level one. You 
do level one, that will reach. Alright? Just don't don't worry too strong, too much about it. Alright. Now let's talk about the end tires real quick. Uh let's have Chun jump. So we talked about her um Manon's end tires. Let's, let's we got crouching whoops. Crouching heavy punch. And I don't think you can get any, does it combo into anything, so this is just something simple. It's just a really strong move. Alright, has some good has some good range even. Yeah, right above my head I can actually get an anti with me. Alright. Then we got back heavy or back middle kick. Whoops. And you can cut a combo off of that. So you can do this. Whoops. Whoops. This actually doesn't seem to combo. Whoops. Doesn't seem to combo with that. So you do need EX after that. So you do that, you combo to EX. And then you can go into level 2. Because they're right above you, right? So actually, that actually works. Um, now this is the thing that's a little bit unfortunate for Manon that I wish, um, wish would be fixed. Is even in my entire, I don't think I can get my command grab. They just drop too much. Okay, so the heavy one actually worked, but I want to see if that works out of the corner. Okay, it does work. Alright, so if you get the heavy one, which is the slowest one? You can get that command grab. So, hey, really, really strong. I like it. Jump middle punch works as a command grab. That's actually really strong. I did not know that till today. Look at that, that power is that that's really really strong. Okay, so you do have some limitations to it. But jump middle punch looks really really good. So and you can do that too. So jump middle punch usually and they, they did this in five. I wanna say in four, but I don't remember too much. The jump middle punch actually causes a juggle point. So like jump light flips him over, jump middle kick flips him over, jump light kick flips him over, heavy kick does the same, heavy punch actually slams him down, but middle punch doesn't, middle punch actually floats them, that means that you can combo up with that, so if you're ready for that, you can do it. I don't even know what that means, but I just earned a title, cool. I want to see if I can get another combo off of this. Oh. Oh. That one actually does miss if you're too hot. So you gotta let him drop a little bit. So you get that combo. But what's really strong is obviously if you see him go up in the air, you can go for this combo. And it actually works. It's really, really strong. If you want to go to level 2, you can go to level 2. Really strong again. Alright. So, use these anti-airs, guys. This is obviously another anti that you can do. If you hit them with heavy punch, you can drag them in from there. And that's actually plus. Uh... So you get like a, let me see, I think since he's jumping it's not going to work, but, he doesn't have an air throw, so that's the unfortunate thing, but yeah, I mean, I'll get really, really strong to get that, 
does so much damage. Look at that, 26 off of an anti-air. Really, really strong. Um, now let's talk about... Uh, let's speak to stop jumping. And yeah, we'll just take this off for now. So, let's talk about good drive rush buttons. So, as we said, uh, crouching middle kick doesn't really drive rush very well. So, we have to do other moves. Obviously, you can jump, do it off a of jab. So, that combo. Alright. That did not combo. So, you can probably use... You can do that, so... Nah, nah. And then you can go... Into... Oops. To that. Okay. So this is really, really strong. Uh, so jab is something you can use. Middle punch is probably the one you're gonna wanna... Do. Like... You can do a lot with this. Alright. And the, the thing you guys want to remember is when you drive rush, make sure that you're canceling the button fast so that you get the most plus frame. Right, so you get a combo of that. If I don't drive rush, this is never going to combo to each other. Alright, so you just got to keep that in mind. It's never going to dri drive rush. What you can do... So you can do something like that, so... Let me see. Ah, I messed it up. I want, I want to, I want to land that combo. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, I don't think I comboed. Ugh. Uh, let me see. Oh, that comboed. Oh, so you can actually level three off of that. Oh, I did not know that. So that's good. So that's a full drive rush meter. That is forty five hundred. Not really worth it. You can just do. That confirms actually really fast. Holy shit. So that's an easy level 3 combo if you want it. It's literally right there. So you can just do this. Whoops. Oops. Make sure you guys write that down. Because that's something that I didn't know. Now I'm going to use it. Um, so it's a 7 frame startup. So that's really, really strong. So you don't even need a dry rush to do it. I was just doing into something like that or like whatever, right? But I was messing it up. But it's really, 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 really strong. Um, uh, other bu combos or other buttons you can you can't do it off of heavy. You can't. You can do it. I think off a of stand middle kick. Yeah. You can do dry rush two ways. You can just da dash or you can do the parry. I usually do the parry one on the left side because I'm really bad at... Yeah, you can do it off of that side. It it's up to you. I might actually start doing it without the parry button. But dry rush right there, you off of a hit, you can just dash. Make sure you input dash the moment it hits. Okay, jab hits, dash it. And you get dry rush. Alright, so... That is a combo. All right. Cool. Really awesome today. All right. Uh, that'll probably be it for me. There's not much else. I mean, we got actually. Hold on. Before I end it, I, I'm kind of ending it a little premature. Let's talk about drive impact before I go. So, I actually use this. I'm not using a drive impact button. I'm actually doing it the manual way, but with the three kicks and the heavy punch. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit hard for me to remember to do all that stuff. But anything in the corner, I would just do... I mean, that's okay. Uh, so you can cancel all of that. So you could do thi uh, this. Let me see. So yeah, you can do something like that. You can do... 
That's a combo that you can do. Nothing crazy. Um, you really just want to experiment. I don't think you can go into this. Oh, actually you can. My bad. Uh, usually, I would practice them blocking this, actually. Um, whoops. So, that's actually always okay, but I don't think you can do anything from this uh, when it comes to grab. Okay. Did that work? Oh, did that actually work? Let's see that. Alright, well, like I said, build meter, guys. Build the metal. So, you make them block this. They go in that, do your light version, build your metal. That's the mo that's gonna be the key to this, I promise. Um, but you can always do, you know, this. Right, you can just do something like that. Um, but you can't command grab because they're already falling, right? Because they're falling, you can't, uh, they're trying to do Actually, let me see back here. You can do something like that. That's actually pretty good. There's a lot of things you can score. And then go for a throw. Manon does have throw loops. Alright, so you got throw. You don't have to go anywhere. This is like... It's pretty funny that they actually like nerfed it with some characters. But like, the newer characters have it. Or, I know uh, Manon and Blanca have it. So... You can just... Keep them there, and if they jump, you can just anti them with this, or this, this, right? They jump, middle punch, so you have tools. And just as a last reminder, guys, there is no cross up in the corner. If they walk forward, then you can cross them up, but if they're just holding back, there's no way you can get around this. There is, so you just have to block, right? And yeah, that's pretty much it for my Manon guide. Uh, obviously, make sure you guys, if you have questions, let me know um, when it comes to Manon. We're all learning, you know, I've only had this for a couple hours. So this is just something that I brought up that I was able to practice and wanted to show for you guys. A lot of people have been asking for a Manon uh, tutorial right off the gate just to start off with. This is a good starting point and uh we'll definitely add on more the, uh, the more time we get with the game and uh i think she's fun i don't know how strong she is compared to the cast uh, i think she has some stuff that is really good but i think she definitely does struggle in the mid range to long range i think when it comes to zoning or with characters with good footsies she's gonna have a lot of hard time because she doesn't have that access to get in she has to take risks so it's really about frustrating your opponent it's really about punishing them and using that drive rush to at least close the gap and you know go for a command grab or something like that um and tires are on point if they jump at her that's when you do the most damage that's when you get the most out of it so conserve that meter uh be ready for your antires that's the best thing i can tell uh, when it comes to using manon early she's not an easy character to use right away but if your antires are there and you're ready for it You'll definitely be able to uh, take advantage of her metal uh, account or metal uh, bar. I don't know what's what's a good way. Currency and uh, deliver some high impact damage with her grabs. But thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll do a Chun one soon. I don't think I'll do it this weekend, but we'll get it out pretty soon. Uh, but alright guys, take care. Peace.